Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video on the Team Gulle channel. And in this video, I got a new custom tactics video for you, which will require the 442 in the AFC 24. So obviously, first of all, I will show you guys the tactics. As you guys know by now, it's not going to be a big surprise, but I know you guys still want to know my tactics and instructions. So that's why I will still give it to you. In defense, we play it on balanced. Width here is on 40. Depth is on 62. I have the width on 40 because 4 for 2 is pretty balanced from itself, attacking wise, but also uh, defensive wise. And I don't want to chase too many in the digits. So for me, 40 suits the 4 for 2 perfectly, as it's pretty wide from itself compared to, for example, a 4 2 3 1 or a 4 1 2 1 2, which are more narrow. Apart from that, it's still balanced, as I said, but that's why I narrow the width a little bit to 40. To be honest, it just works perfectly for me, so I don't see any reason in changing that. Depth is on 62. I like to play a bit of a high line, but I don't want to play. 71 depth or above because then you can get the automatic offside traps I know some of you guys like it me personally I don't really do so that's why I put my depth on 62 in offense as always balanced direct passing as you guys should know by now the width here is on 55 players in the box is on 5 as I mentioned before the 4 for 2 is pretty balanced from itself as you can see the digits are not going up or low too much corners and free kicks as always on two bars then for the instructions on my goalkeeper i don't put anything my right back and left back are on stay back while attacking and overlap something you can do and can try out for example if you are chasing a game your opponent is leading by one or two goals and you like this four for two try to put one full back on balance so for example your left back goes on balance or your right back depending on maybe which full back in your team is better attacking wise or which side you like to exploit more. That's something that could really work. Something I would also do then is put your right mid on cut inside. Now I have my right mid and left mid on come back on defense and get it to the box for crosses. But if you put one fullback on balance, I will put the right mid or left mid on that side on cut inside as well. Then for the center mids, I have stay back while attacking and cover center. And both of my strikers are on stay central and come back on defense. This basically makes my team defend with everyone. But in offense, I will always have enough options because I can attack with my left mid, right mid and two strikers. And I will always have the option available for the cutback, which are my CDMs. So let's start with the offensive strengths of the 4 for 2 Something you really need to keep in mind is that the 4 for 2 is pretty well structured, both in build up and in defense. So most of the times you can't really rush it and just force the counter attack. You just need to be patient in build up often. The thing I like is to just play it at the back, try to find my midfielders. If I have the option to turn forward, I always try to turn forward. But when I don't have that, I always try to find the triangles between my wing back, center mid and winger. By doing this, you can create a lot of momentum into your build up, especially if you make use of triggering L1 runs and also making L1 passes. This will make you build up in a way higher tempo, which obviously makes it way harder to defend for your opponent. The key part of attacking even in general in the AFC 24, but even more for the 4 for 2 is from going from the outside and try to find to cut inside. Then you can find the pass to your center mid, for example, or your striker. But if you find your center mid from your winger, it's always really easy to find your strikers. And then it's just all about quick passing and turning. I know a lot of you guys uh, are good at skill moves, are good at passing. You just need to get there. So make sure you are really patient in build up in this formation. Don't rush. Obviously, as you also can see in some clips, I have the opportunity to counter attack. Then the 4 for 2 is also really good because you always have the four players who can go forward. But the main part and the main game plan should be to just be patient in build up, be secure. And once you arrive at the box of your opponent, that's where the magic happens. Then tiki taka, do your skill moves because if you lose the ball there, there's no worries at all either. Then, obviously, in defense, I know a lot of you guys have been struggling with it in the AFC 24. It probably is the hardest thing this year because attacking isn't that hard, I feel like. Everybody is able to score goals, everybody knows what to do in attack, but that obviously makes it harder to defend. The 4 for 2 is pretty well structured, as I said before, both in build up and in defense. But for me, it's outstanding in defense because you only have maybe one formation which is better, in my opinion, in defense. 
which is the 541. And you could arguably say a 4231. But apart from that, the 442 is probably one of the best formations defending wise. And that's just because it's pretty well structured. As you can see in these clips, all I need to do is just keep tracking back with my midfielders and attackers. And once I just do that and keep that in mind, I won't get into any problems. I will make it so hard for my opponent because he really needs to come up with a big move to be able to find a gap in my defense. And that's just because you have a pretty good structure in the 4 2 and you should always try to keep it like that. Don't take your defenders too early, just always try to track back with your midfielders and attackers and try to apply pressure on the ball with the people which are in front of the balls. So you need to try to get them back and get a structure tag again. Now I've explained a lot about the offensive in the 4 for 2 and the defensive. I hope you guys learned a lot. For me this is a formation that almost suits everyone. If you want to play counter attack it could suit you as I said. Then it's better than for example a 4 2 3 one But if you want to play slow build up I think it's really made for you. If you have any questions left make sure to ask in the comments. Also thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.